Siinä on siis urheilua, mutta nyt on aika keskittyä kulttuuriin aivan kohta täällä livenä studiossa kuvataiteen supertähti Jeff Koons. Mutta sitä ennen mennään katsomaan Richard Scarya. Monet muistavat hänet näistä loistavista kuvituksistaan Mato Matalasta ja Touhulan väestä. Näitä kirjoja on myyty noin 300 miljoonaa kappaletta ja mies osallistui yli 300 kirjan tekemiseen ja kuvittamiseen. Richard Scarry kuoli noin 10 vuotta sitten, mutta hänen poikansa jatkaa isän jalanjäljellä. Richard Scarry osallistui elämänsä aikana yli 300 kirjan kirjoittamiseen ja kuvittamiseen. Kaikki kirjojaan on myyty yli 300 miljoonaa kappaletta ympäri maailman. Skärin luovaa perintöä jatkaa nykyisin hänen poikansa Hak, joka vieraili hiljan Suomessa. As a boy I, I traveled around Europe with my parents <coughs> one summer uh, going on trains everywhere from uh, Italy through Scandinavia and um, he saw all the time funny things around him and I think the traveling was a great source of inspiration in his work. Was he always drawing? Oh, did he always yeah, have some? Yeah, he always made funny little sketches on little scraps of paper. I still have some at home. Uh, he also sent off very funny postcards to his friends, things that he saw. And um, uh, yeah, I think that um, he found a lot of inspiration just in the day-to-day -day things that he saw around him. How much does he have you in his books? I mean, you are his only son. Do you, do you find yourself in, in the books? Yeah, well, I'm basically the, the, uh, the model for the character who in English is called Hans, the little cat, uh, whose best friend is Loli. And um, so Huckle is named after me. And uh, so certainly I would think that uh, I had a, a bit to do with, uh, with that character. Huck's carry on jatkanut isänsä jalanjäljillä. When I began working, I did my own children's books, uh, more documentary or historical or scientific type books for older children. Uh, but I often helped my father color his own books because it's a rather tedious uh, operation. The coloring up, it takes a long time. Uh, and then later, uh, when my father began having difficulty with his eyesight and also after he died, I decided that uh, it would be a pity uh, that the book should uh, stop coming out. And I love what he does, and I uh, decided to continue making new books. So every year I'm making a, a couple of new books. With your own byline, with your own name? And no, yes. I use his name, and um, because I feel it's his world, it's his characters, and uh, I think that's important that it remains his. I do my own things uh, on, when I have time on the side, and, uh, but these books are his. Neljä vuotta sitten Hakskäri perusti rahaston kannustamaan lapsia lukemaan ja lahjoittamaan kirjoja vähäosaistenkin lasten iloksi. And most of those books have been going to Africa, to schools and libraries. Uh, we're not aware that in a lot of other countries children don't have books, or schools don't have books, libraries are often non-existent. And uh, it's simply uh, a way of trying to bring some fun, uh, some imagination and creativity to children who don't have so much that opportunity in the hope also that it will help them to learn to read and write. Nyt Skärin hahmot auttavat lapsia myös Suomessa. Ne ovat tärkeä osa SOS Lapsikylän keräystä. I was thrilled. I thought it was absolutely terrific that uh, my father's characters were so well known here in Finland that uh, they could be used in an advertising campaign. So I immediately said yes, let's do that. It pleased me very much since I've been here to see how many children and also adults know of my father's work, and I'm so happy that uh, the people like it so much here. Ja hetkisen kuluttua vieras, jota olen todella odottanut tämän 